Hello, my name is Jeremy. I'm one of the playtesters for Spider, Raid of the Shrouded Moon. It's a new puzzle platformer by Tiger Style, and it's set to release on August 6th. The developers have asked me to show off a level and give out a few pointers, so I've decided to show off some gameplay in the Courtyard level, one of the earlier levels in the game. Now I'll use the right mouse button to create a web line going off to the left. I'll lose a bit of soap doing this, though. I can't do that. It's too far. So, I've got to analyze this and try a different strategy. You rarely get a perfect solution to the first try in any puzzle game, and Spider is no exception. I've come up with an alternate strategy just looking at the map, but I'm going to need to move these dune bugs. Fortunately, I can just jump into them using the left mouse button and push them away from where I want to build my web. Good, they aren't a problem anymore. That's still a bit too far for me to build the next section of my web. And there. My first two sections of the web that I want to build are connected by this horizontal piece here. So now I'll just go back up here, climb up, and build a similar section of web at the top of this part of the map. It's a little higher up here, but that's good because I don't have to make a horizontal connecting piece this time. So my plan here is to build a six to seven sided web It'll be pretty huge, but it'll capture pretty much every bug in this area. This will save me a lot of silk that I'd ordinarily waste building a series of smaller webs to achieve the same goal. And if I jump over here and make one more line starting here... The web is done! And it's a pretty strong web too, which means if we had any large bugs flying around, we could capture them too. We do have that cricket down there. I'm going to jump on the web and travel down to it to scare him up here. Scare is successful, he's captured. If we wanted to, we could eat all the bugs in this part of the map right now. Eating bugs trapped in webs is pretty simple. I just have to walk up and touch them and that's that. They all award differing amounts of points in silk. Some bugs don't replenish any silk, some give you enough for another three-sided web. The bugs themselves can get you anywhere between 100 points to a few thousand, and that's before you factor in the score multiplier you receive from eating those bugs, which can give you up to a 5 times bonus in the points you get from anything between eating more bugs to making new webs. Now for these other bugs on top of the roof, this long thin bug is a snake wing. It's smart, I mean, for a bug at any rate, it's able to avoid any webs you put up. Fortunately for us, he's decided to stick in a very small, confined area. I'm going to be a little careful here. I want to make sure I get him in one go. The best way to get a high score in Spider is to always take your time and observe what the bugs are doing. And there we go. This four-sided web didn't award quite as many points as the big one downstairs did. And that small lace wing has also been caught in the same web, so we have nearly everyone taken care of, except for these fireflies up top. So I'm going to build a little addition to this web. I just need to use two silk to extend out this pre-existing web here. And from there, I'll double jump by hitting the left mouse button twice. It'll be just enough for me to get up to these last bugs. I think a three-sided web is all I need to catch them all, just quickly eyeballing everything. Got them. Now to wrap up this level. Okay, back down to the lace wing and the snake wing. I'm gonna eat that lace wing first. He's only 250 points, but he'll give me a two times score multiplier. I'm gonna hit the Z key again and look up again at those fireflies and get a good double jump trajectory. And that worked nicely. Back up here again, I'm going to use that two times bonus and I'll get some more points from these fireflies. And by eating all of them, I increased my score multiplier to five times normal. So I'll jump back down to the snake wing. Eating him would normally only give me 2,000 points, but with that full multiplier, I got five times that. 10,000 points in one go. And I've also eaten every other bug on this level, so it's almost time to leave. I want to get to those two small webs, but I don't quite have enough height to reach them. So I'll just double jump to the firefly web again. That's a little better. But still too close for my liking. Move up. And perfect. Now I can do one last thing before exiting the level through that glowing ball on the balcony. If I just string a line down here... 
Then go back up here. I'll make a four-sided web. Since I didn't touch the ground, I'll still get my five times bonus on the score for making that web. That gets me 250 points per four-sider. I got a lot more points from carefully eating all those bugs earlier, but since I'm so close to the exit, this isn't a bad way to pad out my score a little bit before I leave. I'm lucky though, the game reads the weather and time conditions in real life and changes the level based on that info. Might not have had the resources to do so well if I did it during the day, or during stormy weather. And with that I just used my last silk, gotta get out of here or I'm dead. There we go, level completed. Only took me a couple minutes, but it was a perfect run.